finished filming another build. But I want to go ahead and get this camera. Uh, I hate the OSD on this thing. And I have no way to do it on the quad. There's a feature on this camera where I have set up, and you can see right there, uh, these last two pins, there's a TX and an RX. Uh, I believe I hooked them up properly, but for whatever reason it's not working, and I have some research to do on that. But I just want to get the OSD shut off because I use the Betaflight OSD, and having the two overlay on top of one another sucks. So. Just on the bench real quick, I want to do this, and the issue that I'm running into is this. This guy will fit right here, and as you can see, that takes up a significant amount of room, and if I try to plug this guy in here, it doesn't quite work, because this is a four pin, and this is a two pin, and there's only room for, s what, how many we got here? Six. So you would think a four and a two would go, but that's not the way these things work. So how am I going to make this happen? I'm just going to hack this apart and I figured why not show you guys this, uh, how to do this. This is um, kind of using these guys. This is uh, the CHP 170. And if you have not bought a set of these, uh, I highly recommend them. These things rock. And as you can see, this is why uh, easily just hack this thing apart. And what we want to do is just make sure that it's flat. And I'm cutting this in a little bit of an angle. And now this should fit right in there next to that. Bam. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and hook this to a battery and get us a VTX. Uh, I just finished testing the, this one here, so that's why it's out. Um, let me get an antenna on this so we don't burn anything up. Anytime that you connect a VTX um, to power, you want an antenna on here. And I know that they have, well, TBS has protections inside of their VTX to keep them from burning out uh, with no antenna. I don't know the length of time that they will not burn out four, but just to be safe, um, I'm gonna plug one in. So over here I have a screen and I will review this screen. I just got it and I barely know how to use the thing. So once I am familiar with the menu system and whatnot, I will get a review going for this. So there's that guy turned on. This should be on race one, which it is. So we're gonna select that channel. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. So uh, how I have this set up is, oops, there's, there we go. All right, so we have the run cam hooked in to the control panel. We have the VTX with the antenna here and controlled by a battery. And here's our monitor. So to operate this, we wanna go into the menu system. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of the background stuff here. So where it says run cam, the voltage, and the timer here. I want all that gone because I'm gonna use the Betaflight OSD. And having this coupled with the TBS stuff as well I, it's just too much going on it's gonna be all three things so run cam stuff you're gone so normally you would go to the menu system here and if we flip through all this there's no option in any of this to get to any place where you can shut off the run cam OSD what you want to do here is push and hold the up button for about three seconds two seconds that gives you the option to change the you can like run run cam you can change whatever's written right here um the other thing that we can do is go down here so we can set an alarm we can turn the pilot information on and off the timer on and off and the voltage on and off so i'm going to turn the voltage off so to do that 
you want to scroll down to it, it flashes, and then you hit the enter key. I want to turn off the timer, so I'm going to hit the enter key, and then I want to turn off the pilot name down the bottom. And also, if you are a ham radio guy, uh, here's a good spot to put your call sign. You can go up to the C CLTR and then change run cam to your call sign. Um, I'm not going to do that there. I got it done in another place. So next, we want to turn the pilot information off. So that will sh turn off all your OSD menu stuff. Once we're all set there, we go down to exit, hit enter, and we're good. It's going to say joystick control because that's operating by joystick. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. If you hate Runcam automatically defaulting their OSD to on, leave me a comment below. Um, if you've got a better bench test idea set up than this, also let me know in the comments below, what do you do? And if you haven't done it already, like most of you haven't, there's like 90% of you that have not, go ahead and punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once and it's fun and I'll catch you later. Peace.